Well, hello and good day. Joe Stefan here. And today I'm diving into something that could make a massive difference to your creative workflow. So something a little different today. Asus sent me their Pro Art Display Monitor, the PA329CRV. And I've had it for two months now to test it out and see what I think when it comes to color accuracy for photography and video editing. Full disclosure, Asus did send me this monitor. However, they don't get a say in the final video and no money exchanged hands. Now, I'm not going to dive into the full specs of this monitor. If you want that information, you can go and check out their website. But where I'm concerned is the color accuracy of the monitor paired with a MacBook Pro, which is what I own. For those of you who are serious, and spend countless hours editing videos, perfecting photos and color grading. The right monitor is very important. I've personally been through so many monitors over the last 15 years in this business, and it has been a really up and down experience, I've got to say. After using the ASUS ProArt PA329CRV for a couple of months, I've actually been impressed so far and I don't say that lightly. It's a 31.5 inch 4K UHD display with a 178 degree wide view IPS panel. That means you can see the detail and vibrant colors from pretty much any angle. It does, however, come in a 27 inch version, which is the PA279CRV if you want a smaller screen. One of the standout features for me is its 98% DCI P3 color gamut, which means the colors you see are true to life. But for those of us who color grade, you kind of need to tweak it a little further out of the box. Let me explain. Unless you have an Apple display monitor to match with your MacBook Pro, then you'll most likely need to adjust and color calibrate your monitor. I initially calibrated the ASUS monitor using the Datacolor Spider X Elite calibration tool. However, I found that it wasn't perfect and I still had to tweak the settings on both the MacBook Pro and the ASUS Pro Art monitor. Okay, so we're gonna jump over here now. To ensure your ASUS monitor gives you accurate colors for photo and video editing, start by setting the ASUS monitor to the DCI P3 color space with a D65 white point. This matches your MacBook Pro's Apple display settings, which is P3 500 nits. But you may still notice that the ASUS has a warmer tint compared with the MacBook Pro. To fine tune this, head to the palette menu and select RGB tuning. Here you'll want to set the gain values to red 52, green 48 and blue 53. Then adjust the brightness to 100. These adjustments will help ensure that the colors you see on your monitor are as accurate as possible, making your editing process much more satisfying and less stressful, especially in my case when connecting it to a MacBook Pro. Now let's talk about connectivity. The PA329CRV comes with a USB-C port that supports DisplayPort, super fast data transfers, and 96 watt power delivery. Now that's one cable for everything no more cable clutter on the desk, plus it's got HDMI and a USB hub built in. Everyone knows comfort is key when working long hours, and this monitor has an ergonomic stand that lets you tilt, swivel, pivot, and adjust the height. I can even rotate it to portrait mode if I want to view my edits in portrait orientation. So it's totally up to you how you set it up. Now let's talk about the price and who this monitor is for. In Australia, the ProArt Display PA329CRV retails for about $1,599. So it's a solid investment. If you're someone who is serious about your work and wants a tool that keeps up with your creative demands, if you're needing that big size screen, 31.5 inch, does size really matter these days? and wants good color accuracy, then this monitor is for you. Personally, it took me a little bit to work out, but once everything was set up, I was very happy with the results. And now I'm able to color grade accurately 
on the ASUS Pro Art monitor. <laughs> Look at that smile. For me, having a smooth workflow means removing technical limitations. You can truly immerse yourself in your projects and bring your visions to life. And finally, this monitor allows me to do that. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you have any questions about the monitor or want to share your experiences, drop a comment below. But for now, behave and make good decisions. Peace.
I've lost so much sleep over this topic. It's not funny. 